Hi, this is Mr. Roche, and we're back again with the bonus video here. Um, one of the things that you're going to need to do when you do the Move Me, where you're going to program, um, I was just wondering. Um, I guess I guess what I think is that when you run it, uh, one thing it might like you're going to need help with. Um, let me see. If this will run. Sorry, I don't know what's going on here. Um, oh, sorry. I got to run it from over here. Um, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. But we love our flappy birds, and we want it to, um, to bounce. But one of the things you need to know is where the ground is, okay? And that actually might be a hard thing to figure out, I was thinking. So I'm going to help you with that one part. So I think what you're doing is you're going like this, and then you're managing, you're clicking the button, which sets up the jump, so it sets the initial speed, and then the ball goes up losing gravity, and then it falls to the ground, but you need to stop it when the ball, you know, hits the ground, or whatever, the orange hits the ground, or the flappy bird hits the ground. You need some way to stop it, otherwise it's going to, like, fall through the ground, okay? So you kind of need to know where the ground is, okay? And that's sort of a hard thing for the flappy bird, okay? Because most of that stuff was set up in um, image character, so I'm going to help you with this. So, um, Let's go back to flappy image character here. Uh, let me close up these guys. Okay, this is flappy image character. And um, to, to allow you to remember where the ground is, because this actually gets set sort of one place. We actually set it, um, we, did it we did it in class. Um, we set it where in this particular method, okay? So um, this is at the put put at frame center um, method, right? We we figured out how to put it on the on the flappy bird. We set an x log for it. We set a y log for it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a ground for object variable. I'm going to remember this variable because right now, x log and y log are very changeable. They change all the time, and so they wouldn't. This wouldn't be something you'd remember where the ground is. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a variable to the image character so that all the images kind of know if they need to or they want to they would know um, the ground for objects. So I'm going to go like this and you guys can do it too. I'm giving you a hint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a private integer called ground for object and it's going to allow you to set this when you ground the object you're going to know where it is. Okay, So we can figure out ways to um, to do this for the other characters too, or you know, maybe you want to do this, maybe you don't, it doesn't matter, but you want to have this capability like available, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is then in, um, so I set this one variable, okay, and it can just like, actually sit there. We could actually give it a um, like a constructor one too. We could go like this and say um, ground for object. Okay, and you could do it here. You could you could set it. You could say it equals um, like uh, basically you know the um, let me see what we know we know um, let's see we can we could set it here for um, oh actually we don't know we can't set it there so we're not going to set that there okay um, this is not in the constructor okay so what we're going to have to do is we can really only set it the way we have it written right now um, here and put frame at center because because that's the so somebody sends us the width and height of the frame and this is kind of like the one place where you know where this thing is okay so um, you know this is something we'd have to think about for like a redo to make this like more you know efficient and less like kind of hidden but what we're gonna do right here is I'm gonna add this line that says ground for object equals y log Okay, so that and at that point the y look is actually the ground. That's the thing. That's the ground coordinate for the for the object. So we want to keep that around. What that'll do is it'll save it. Then what I can do is I can make a um, a a method that allows um, you know um, the um, the flappy bird to figure out where the ground is. Okay, so this would allow the Flappy 
prefer to um, determine where the ground is. Okay. And what you're going to have to do is the flappy bird is like moving. Okay. Let's look at this again. So that's my big hint, basically. But what you're going to do, what happens is you go like this, and you hit a key. Flappy Bird just does its move, so it doesn't move me. It moves, and every time it moves, it's, it, it adds back like a part of the gravity. And what it'll do is it'll come up, and it'll come down, and then you're going to say it. When you move it, you're basically asking if the location of the the flappy bird is below this so you're gonna say if this is below the get ground for object then stop then set dy to zero that's what you're trying to do otherwise you just kind of let it roll and it'll do this for you okay so give this a try that's my big hint I felt bad to like let you guys hang with that so nothing else has been coded there might be like five lines of code here but think about what you're doing and try to see if you can do this, okay? All right, good luck to you, and I will see you on Monday.